Wow. Uh, what for you was like, did you take a class? Or was it no, 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 no. I was studying to be a painter. Okay. And I mean, I did, I did stand up comedy. I, st I did painting. Okay, right. It's funny. I never talk about this. I was going to be a painter and then um, went to art school and then came back and in order to live a meager lifestyle, I felt I could be an extra in the movies. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, Did you like share? Did you like share? Yeah, and this is really how the nexus of it was that I, I thought I would be an extra movie, which is ninety dollars a day, which is a lot of money now. Wow! Right. <laughs> ninety bucks a day, and then you get the free meal. Is that equity? No, yeah, it was just. I mean, sad. S E G. I mean, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Straight extra. That was an right. S E G. You didn't have to be a sad member. Yeah, it was different. Right. And I'd take the bus, and I would be, and then I'd, I'd draw. While you were there? Yeah, it was just great. I could draw everybody else. Did like, you get enough extra work to live off of? Yeah. That's awesome. But I mean, the, but that's then hard. I, but, but I never, I was only an extra twice because then oh. I was in a movie right. and um, it was the Barbra Streisand main event with Ryan O'Neill. Oh. And the director said, um, Will you, would you like to have a part? Wow. So it was like, I was an extra and then I got bumped into a part with Barbra Streisand. Wow. And, and, and I'm in the movie and it's, and, and then, and then, I would go out and say, I just did the Barbra Streisand movie, and people right. would go, well, we should represent you then. Of so, course. So then I got an agent very quickly, and it all happened really quickly. Nice. And then that's when I auditioned, somebody said, you should be in a comedy group, and then I, if you're going to do this, and then I went to the LA Connection, and then we were on Venice Beach, and then I met Robin and went to the Whiskey. Oh, interesting. So you're Everybody painting, cares. and then you think, um, I can make some money uh, doing extra work. Yeah. And then you actually get in recognized and right I kind away. of got discovered. Yeah. In, in a weird way, I kind of got discovered. But how? But I take how, it very seriously now. Did and you I love do doing a comedic it. little bit in the main event? Or well, I push Barbara's so, I mean, head down so I could get in. They give you a line. No, they pull no, you no, off. No, no, no. I was just an atmosphere. Okay. I jumped All in right. in the movie. I, I she jumps into the thing, and it's the end of the movie. It's in, but it's in slow motion. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. And it's over the uh, extra. extra <laughs> I was an extra in Spring Break. <laughs> the oh, bikini yeah. movie. Oh boy. In well, Florida we, when I was in high school so to you, make money over the summer. Were you uh, um, wearing a bikini? Yes. Yes. Were they nice to you? Uh, very nice. We were the special extras. We were there for like a month. Um, but they did come around and ask. You know ask, what that means? The, no, no, no. Extras. They did come around and ask <laughs> the girls if we wanted to be in a top of scene. And I said, no, thank you. You know. And what a couple made, of the what, what said, made yeah. you say uh, no? Everything. I'm well, Jewish. I'm going to college. Are you kidding? If this is a piece of shit. See, you're smart. That's why. You're, <laughs> Are you kidding? I know. I have, yeah, I'm, you I'm have to pay a lot more to see these. Ta ta. Like, I really am excited to see more of your stand up, um, more of the. Funny, the, the, you know, uh, we've had a wonderful know, journey yeah. together. <laughs> no, that's a lot. Uh, but you know, um, it was it was just I'm, delightful and moving. But I can't wait to see you do like forty five minutes of just you, boom, boom, boom. I know. You yeah. know what? I really, really am in game for that after doing a scripted show like this. Oh yeah, but, yeah. You, know, you learn focus. I mean, oh yeah. I, I'm writing now for Ariana Ariana Huffington's Huffington Post. They have a new page called 236, which her and Barry Diller made. It's a, it's a very beautiful thing these guys have put together. And they asked me to write for them. So I've been writing these blogs about current events. Cool. So it's, it's and, and, I, and I'm on deadline a lot. So I have to be very precise. As you know, you just, don't, you just can't fool around. Right. And, uh, but I'm writing comedy. I'm not writing. Yeah. So I wrote this piece called I Was Emotionally Fingered by David Copperfield. <laughs> and, and, and it's like this fantasy right of of what it would be like if david copperfield kind of turned you into a cloud <laughs> and brought you to his malibu house wow so 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 to tell those stories i think would be really awesome i was just i was just just and they also wrote the one on jesse jackson so i'm, I'm doing actually i go to press conferences and i do new stuff but the funny stuff is crazy Wow, I'm just so blown away by the uh, image of being turned into a cloud. I couldn't. I was just like. I knew I caught you on that. I one. think you did it. You hypnotized me, and I think I'm a cloud. I just. Pop. Okay, where well, am I? Oh, you're funny, but that's. I knew I was going to get you if I said. Oh, you see what I mean? You're insidious. You just get well, right into a person's brain. Well, I was writing that. You drop a little bomb. I said, and the you're next thing I knew. Gone your way. Yeah. And then I was like, here's, no, here's a joke. He 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 very kind of suggestively asked me if I'd ever fooled around with levitation. 
Right. And before I could know it. <laughs> we all know what that means. Before I could know it, I was in a cloud. Yes. Or, or a Buick La Sabra <laughs> going north on Sunset and then up PCH. Right. And then I got to his house and I said, this house <laughs> Wait a minute. is so beautiful. <laughs> this house is so beautiful. What was in there? And he goes, Drink. it's only an illusion. <laughs> it's a rental from Larry Hagman. Right. <laughs> I only, and is I, this I, how he seduced you? Yeah, and then he says, I only pay the rent on Sunday, so I don't have to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great first date. Well... <laughs> It was the only day. Exactly, and a last day, yes. I'm and, then, sure. and then he looked at me and he said, um, I really would like to give you some date rape drugs. Oh, yes. And I said, and then he said, but I, I'm out. <laughs> and, and I was so touched by his honesty and his, that simple Jewishness, that I said, <laughs> well, you know, we can use mine. <laughs> but I was out. Right. Because I had used my stash at the People's Choice Awards. Right, exactly. Because it's so hard to get nominated the old-fashioned way. Oh, you boys. Boys will be boys. boys. You, gotta, you, gotta, you, you gotta sometimes use rape commentaries. <laughs> it's like that 20-minute snake. Oh, Jesus. Right? Now you scared me. In Las Vegas, watch out. You know, you get bit. No, the men. 20-minute <laughs> snakes, honey. Listen, I, at this point in time... Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, I, I, I just can't even imagine. You're young. That. You're not going to count. No, no. If I was in Vegas right now, I'd have to do the show and I'd probably have to take, take a tub. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But I would like to go to Vegas now and be part of that because, you know, what I think that whether they like it or not, these 21-year-old guys are now 44. Right. Everybody's right. got to wake up and smell. That's young. It's not 22. It's not young. 44 yeah. is, you know, you could have a grandchild at 44. Right. So there's a, comes a time where you want to have a lounge and you want to have a cigarette. And I, right. and I like that I'm reading in New York now that the quiet is coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is no longer 1998. Well, you know what? It's... It's uh, everything in moderation, even moderation, you know. Yeah. And uh, like Scott said, I said, what do you do after a show? He's like, I go home and watch Sports Center, <laughs> you know, because, yeah, you're a professional. You can't wear yourself out. On the other hand, you can have focused moments of frivolity. Oh, oh yeah, 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 like we had and, the other night. Yeah, exactly. And then you recover. And maybe it takes you a little longer to recover, but, you yeah. know, it's all good, you know. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's all good. That's why um, in France, we have wine with lunch. Ah. So you kind of have a little hit every day. I mean, right. not every day. I can't have wine every day because I'm not supposed to. But um, once in a while, when it's, it's a special occasion, right. you have a glass of wine and you feel like you've had a wine night. Right. And I think Americans should do that more because then they wouldn't party so hard and have this That's true. party as a verb. Right, right. You know, you're right. There's a lot of groovy things the French do, like take long vacations. Um, they go to a place and live for their vacation, like for six weeks at a time. They don't just fly in, fly home, you know. Yeah. Um, they, like you said, they have that siesta kind of thing going on in the afternoon. With Where they can just really hit Yeah, and, and have a little wine and cheese. Beautiful, beautiful. And you have a home there, right? Yes. Oh, groovy. When do you ever get back there with all the we were, Well, we were just there. I was just there. Do you, can you, how long you go there for little periods and then leave? I there? go there whenever I'm there, you know. I mean, it's, it's like if I'm in England or if I'm in... Scotland, and I want to go yeah. back to the house, I'll go to the house That's and really go on some hideous airline. And you live most <laughs> of the time in... Um... The past. <laughs> because I know where things Me are. Me and you both, baby. Yeah. Me and you both. I, I try to take my baggage off, but... Uh... No, I live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? And, and uh, 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 which is very exciting. 